Good afternoon, buenas tardes, or oh, actually good morning, buenos dias, uh, still in Portland. Um, we're coming from a very difficult match against uh, the Galaxy. Um, a very good performance from the players, very disciplined, um, very proud of the work that the guys have done. Unfortunately, with uh, Polo being uh, out now, uh, probably for the entire season, which is very unfortunate. And now we uh, are ready to travel to Philadelphia to pay, play against a very good team. A team that for the past few years um, has been one of the better teams in MLS. Um, Jim and his staff has done a phenomenal job with, with, the, with them, with that team, to be very organized, to understand what they're all about. And, and um, we're going to face a, a good challenge uh, traveling to Philadelphia. We're excited about uh, this match, and then we'll have um, a few weeks in order to hope that we can recover more players and and have uh, a little more depth for what is coming uh, in, in the near future. All right, we will start with Nick Krupke. Gio, good morning out here on the West Coast. The significance for you guys of being able to obviously pull out six points these last two matches, uh, but knowing that after this one, you guys have a good chunk of time to really rehab, reset for a strong push. I mean, it's gotta make you feel good that at this point in time that you guys have figured out a way when you've been missing so many bodies and knowing that better days are ahead. Yeah, I said it all along, Nick, uh, how proud I am of uh, the group because the mentality has been strong through this uh, difficult time in which we had so many players out. Uh, the team was able still to enter into the match, uh, be very disciplined with the things that we asked you know, them to do and, and have a great mentality. Um, and having uh, accumulated these past uh, six points in the last two games has been huge for us, very important. And now we have another very difficult match, um, still with a limited amount of players that we're traveling and uh, looking to try to finish very strong these last three games that we have. And as you mentioned, then we'll have a couple of weeks in order to hope that we can have uh, more players back, which most likely is going to be the case. Next is Kyle Garcia of Stemtown Footy. Hey, Coach, just to um, clarify and just make sure, um, should we expect the injury report to look similar to it ha what it has been these past two weekends with uh, the same players for the most part being out? Exactly the same. Yes, uh, it will be the same. Uh, right now, we don't have any player that hasn't been available, ready to play. Uh, it will be different. Um, we believe that uh, by the time that we come back and we play Kansas City, uh, we'll have some, some players back, and uh, that's our goal. But uh, in this travel, we'll be the same group that has been uh, right now battling the past three games besides Polo, uh, that unfortunately uh, um, is not going to be available. A reminder to media members, if you have a question, please use the raise hand function. Next, we will go to Will Conwell with the Row City Review. Uh, Gio, as you said, Philadelphia has been a, a very sp uh, strong team over the last few years. I was just wondering if you could uh, sort of give us some of your thoughts on their approach to the game, what you've seen from them, uh, and, and uh, what you're expecting from them this weekend. So they, they've been very steady in the way they play with their diamond, uh, which uh, they have given them a lot of success. Um, the, the ideas are very clear from Jim to the group. You can see that they understand exactly the movements that he's looking for from his group. And that's, that has allowed them to be successful. Um, the minor tweaks that they have made in, in this, during this year, because now they don't have Aronson. So that changes uh, a few little details in the way they play. But uh, overall, uh, it is the same uh, team that, that we know. Uh, that's why I'm saying that it's, it's going to be a challenging match. It's going to be a good game. And, and uh, they stick with what they are best in what they know they have. Um, some players that can change the game in moments um, and uh, they're very disciplined in, in what they do. So uh, we, we know exactly what to expect. Uh, we have prepared, but it's going to be a, a very good game as, you know, they're going to be a very challenging team. Kyle Pinnell. 
Yeah, Gio, you touched on Andy Polo, and of course, it's a very unfortunate injury. Just over the past few weeks, what have you seen from him and what he's been able to bring and just being able to fill the void um, with, with his injury? And what do you want to see from players who step up into that role going forward? Yeah, it's very unfortunate. I mean, um, we all hope that after the match that uh, we could have some good news. Um, in it, but unfortunately, it was worse than what we expected in regards to the injury. Um, so he's going to be out uh, most likely for, for the season. And, um, and uh, he's been positive, trying to keep, you know, a good... Uh, mentality but at the end of the day you know it's, it's very difficult from his part to deal with the, the surgery having to now to rehab right at the moment that he was starting to feel back again fit in order to give us what he was giving us we saw uh, his role the past two games how important he was uh, in the way we were playing uh, and for this team he's been this role player that has given us a lot he's very flexible in in the uh, in in uh, where he can play, he's very smart and in, 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 in very technical with the ball. He has speed, so there's a lot of things that we miss with him, and and um, he's trying to keep things positive, but it, but it's difficult. Um, so that's one thing that uh, right now we have to deal with. And uh, the good thing, as I said before, is that the mentality of the group is strong, and and whatever you know, we we continue to move forward. Will Conwell? Uh, Gio, um, over the last few games, you have had a, a bunch of players stepping up, uh, you know, whether it's Felipe Mora getting, uh, you know, his uh, his first goals of the regular season uh, or, or others. I'm just wondering how do you uh, continue the, the momentum that you guys have started to build and, and what is it important for you guys to focus on carrying forward uh, going into these uh, – this, uh, this next game? This is a very important question because uh, in, in these type of moments is that you see um, the mentality of your team in, in, in the, the individual players, uh, if they're ready or not. Um, and we have seen that whoever we have thrown into the, the games, they come in and they try to perform. They're trying to give everything that they have. Uh, they come in with a good mentality. Um, the environment has been very good. and. And everybody has uh, worked very, very hard to for each other in order to be able to get these past two results. We had to be very disciplined in the way we play. We have to make sure that we give you know very specific details and the things that we're looking for. Um, and the guys that have had the opportunity to step on the field have done a, a phenomenal job. And and sometimes through these times is where you find. Uh, great things, you know, because uh, let's say, for example, Eric um, now playing on a different role that he has ever played uh, for the Timbers uh, in that position a little bit deeper uh, as a six, um, being the the player that is in front of the back four, covering spaces, but also very good with the ball. Uh, he's shown that he's capable of doing that. Uh, Jimmy coming a little bit more central, uh, playing in that position. Um, you know, we know already that Jeremy with the discipline that he has in his quality, he can perform and be very flexible in these different ways. So these are the moments I think that you see what your team and the character of your team and is the moment in which uh, you have to change some things in, and, uh, and you see good results with some of the things that you, you try to do. And, and now uh, in relations to this next match, it's gonna be another very difficult game, very tough game against Philadelphia, one of the best teams in the league. Um, now we have to, you know, bring the same attitude, the same mentality and play forever that we find in the game. Whatever the game is going to give us, we have to make sure that we manage. And that's one thing that I think uh, I'm most proud of, uh, of my players. All right, next is Josue Del Castillo. Saludos, coach. Um... Disculpe que le lo voy a preguntar nuevamente por Andy Polo, se va a tener que repetir, pero esto es para nuestra gente de la grande radio en español. ¿Cuál es la condición eh, física de, de la lesión de Andy Polo? ¿Y se va a buscar eh, tener una, un castigo alto? La, ¿La institución Timbers va a buscar eh, que sea ejemplar, no solamente en una cuestión de revancha, sino para que sea un ejemplo y sean más cuidadosos los jugadores eh, en este tipo de lesiones? Bueno, primero que nada, buenos días. Uh, 
un gusto siempre tenerte eh, aquí y la verdad que sí, es lamentable lo de Polo, es una entrada eh, que no debería de tener cabida en, en este tipo de partidos y, y que termina eh, poniendo un jugador en, en un estado fuera de, de posibilidades de, de poder continuar jugando una temporada y, y fue lamentable. Eh, no obstante, el hecho de que no deberían existir este tipo de, de entradas así, también debo decir que el entrenador del Galaxy dos veces me ha contactado para ver cómo está Polo, para ver cómo sigue, eh, y yo personalmente aprecio el, el hecho de que eh, Greg Vanny se haya comunicado conmigo uh, para preguntar cómo está Polo. Eh, lo, lo lamentable es que no cambia nada en relación a que Polo... Eh, tuvo que tener la cirugía y ahora recuperación por, por mucho tiempo. Y no está de parte de nosotros eh, decidir eh, la suspensión. Sí, por supuesto que creemos que eh, merita la, la suspensión ser larga, pero a la final tiene que ser la, la MLS la que tome la decisión de, de cuántos partidos serán y, y nosotros uh, de ahí esperemos de que sea lo suficiente eh, por lo que se vio dentro de la cancha. Entonces, esa es la mentalidad que tenemos nosotros. All right, last question. We'll go to Will Conwell with the Rose City Review. Uh, Gio, given that you guys are only making a couple of trips out to the East Coast this year, I, I'm wondering what, uh, what it feels like to be, uh, to be traveling out here currently and uh, what... Uh, Um, so what the approach is to these games versus the West Coast games, it seems like in a, a regular year with a more balanced uh, East and West schedule, or at least more Eastern Conference games, there's a little bit of a different approach to them. Is, is that true still? It is true the fact that we're starting to feel a little bit more normality, uh, not yet uh, the way it has been in the past on a normal season. Uh, but the chance now to be able to travel the, all the way to the east, um, to Philadelphia, uh, and in the way we're doing it, because we'll be able to leave two days prior, which is something that we haven't been able to do. Um, it, it makes you feel that some normality is, is, uh, is coming back and, uh, and allow us to be able to prepare better for, for this match instead of having to travel the same morning to be able to arrive there, play and come back the same night. That's... Uh, Very difficult for the players, especially um, on this type of trips that are so long. So we are uh, excited to see some normality coming back. As a, of course, you know the same situation with the fans coming back into our stadium, which is a completely different uh, uh, situation. We know that it's going to be the same going there. I believe that they will have around 75% capacity. So it will be interesting, you know, now to play back with with, with some fan. Um, and I'm sure there will be some Timbers fans uh, there as well.